Hey everyone. Okay. So here is our latest presentation, something we're going to be thinking about when it comes to our resiliency. And this is the idea of grit. Okay. So today you hopefully have already watched a video by Dr. Duckworth, Angela Duckworth about grit. And now we're going to be building on that concept a bit with some um, more discussion, things that come from, again, Dr. Hansen's book, Resilient, right? So let's dive in. So grit is defined by Hansen as dogged, tough resourcefulness, dogged, tough, tough resourcefulness. And that's what we're going to be exploring today, how this can help us as we move through our courses and how we succeed in life and university, right? So as we think about grit, we have a few concepts that Hansen suggests are within the idea of grit. And there's going to be a lot of concepts today, so we're going to talk about them. The first one is agency, the idea of agency. Now, agency, as Hansen talks about it, is an important concept when it comes to grit because it's the sense of being the cause rather than the effect. Essentially, agency is the opposite of helplessness. So when you have agency, you have choice and you have control in some way, right? In some level. So many things can happen to a person. We experience a sense of agency in how we respond to those things that happen to us. So you can focus on where you do have agency, where you do have choice and you do have control rather than where you do not. Another way of thinking about this is we may not be able to directly create something we want. For example, we can be kind to others, but we can't make them love us. We can eat well, but we may still get sick, but we can encourage the underlying process processes that will bring it into being. So agency is where we have choice, where we have control in our lives. So I want to invite you to think about some of the major areas of your life, thinking about your health, your relationships, your academics, right? Where do you have agency when it comes to your health? And you can look for simple, realistic things to that might cause them to improve. So when it comes to your health, right? Are there little things where you have agency, right? You may not be able to control everything about your health, but you can control whether you take vitamins, for example, whether you get enough sleep on some level, there's parts of that you can control, right? That's where you have agency. Same with your relationships. You may not be able to control everything about your relationships, likely not, but you might be able to control how you show up, how you listen to a friend. If you were to text a friend and tell them, you know, you're thinking of them, right? Those are things you can control. Similar to your academics, obviously, right? You may not be able to control how you did entirely on a test, but you can control how much you studied for that test. You can control how much you practiced your, you know, whatever it was to, to be prepared for the test that you're taking. That's where you have agency, right? So notice where do you have agency? Notice it. That's the invitation here. And seemingly little things often cause the biggest results. So these little things, right, that we do, let these feelings of tending to the little things become a commitment that you can enrich and absorb, give you, that will give you like the sense of action, right? If you tend to these little things, they'll help you. This is where you have agency. So another aspect of grit is the concept of determination. So we add agency where we have choice with determination, how we can be determined. And determination is the steadfast fortitude we draw on to endure, to cope with, and to survive hard things. So Hansen suggests that there are four aspects to determination. And as you're thinking about these, use those heel steps we've talked about Remember to have a positive experience, enrich it, absorb it, link it to other experiences. To think about these four aspects of determination. Let's look at them together now. One aspect of determination is resolve. This is being aimed toward a goal with passion, with fieriness, perhaps with joy. So think about a time when you've been serious about a goal, when you have had resolve, right? Think about a time when you have had resolve 
and enrich that? When have you aimed towards a goal with passion, with perhaps joy, with fieriness? Like when have you done that in your life? Notice where you've done that, where you've had resolve. Another aspect of determination is patience. Patience can be really tough for us, right? But patience is the idea. It involves delaying gratification, putting off immediate rewards for the sake of a greater greater reward in the future. It may also involve distress tolerance, the capacity to endure an uncomfortable experience without making a bad thing worse. Not necessarily easy, (laughs) for us, but an aspect of determination. So with patience, maybe you think about some part of your life that's frustrating right now and see if you can imagine being more patient about it. What could help you be more patient? I just want to encourage you to be reflecting on this. The next aspect of determination is persistence. And I love this, the idea of small, undramatic sustained efforts over time, making a difference, right? These small, undramatic, sustained efforts, that's persistence, right? It's not, it's, it's, it's these little things that we do that lead and contribute to determination. And this is a question you could ask yourself, is there something in your life that would be good to keep leaning into? Maybe it's persistence with exercise, persistence in your math class, in the relationship with your dad, right? Whatever it is that, what are these little small sustained efforts that you can take over time that might make a difference for you? And the final aspect of determination according to Hansen is fierceness. This is tapping into the ancient and the wild inside of each of us, our intensity, right? That's our fierceness. And so you can think of an experience in your life, a good experience where you have been You've had the feeling of being fierce and strong and standing up for someone maybe. Maybe there's an experience of standing up for someone or maybe in the wilderness. A lot of us in Alaska have had experiences in nature where we've had to be fierce. We've had to call on our intensity. Maybe it was handling an emergency. And what would it feel like and how might it help to bring some of that fierceness to a challenging situation today? Where can you call on your intensity, your fierceness? today. So all of these things make up determination, according to Hansen. And I know I'm throwing a lot of terms at you today, but I think these are really fun to to be curious with, to notice in ourselves. So all of these things reflect our determination and determination connects to grit, right? So we've so, so far talked about grit being about agency, about determination. And now we're going to talk about the final aspect of grit, which is remembering to give time for our vitality. So it's most, it's easiest for us to maintain grit when we also are tending to our vitality. If you'll recall, vitality is our life force energy, the caring for our mental and physical health, right? Taking care of ourselves, essentially taking care of our bodies and our minds. We do this through things like eating good food, getting enough sleep, exercising, drinking enough water, right? These kinds of really simple choices we can make to tend to our vitality. So if you haven't been thinking about this lately, what's one action you could take today to support your vitality? Something for you to think about here. And really, as we reflect on our vitality, right? How we bring more vitality into our lives, recognizing that this ultimately helps us with grit. So my question for you, as you were thinking about this, this week is how will you call on grit this week to help you notice when you need grit to help you through something and see if you can call on your agency, on your freedom to choose, right? The, the ability that you have to choose and to have the things that you can control, control them, right? How can you call on determination, being determined, being resolved and persistent and patient and fierce and tending to your vitality to help make it through? And I want to offer to you that this concept as we continue to return to it can help us as we not only seek to succeed in university and to continue with our studies where we definitely need grit, 
but also in our lives in general, right? Where, where do we need grit? Where would grit help us to keep going in the direction of success, whatever success looks like for us? So I hope this has been helpful. I trust it has been. I look forward to being in more conversation about grit with you as well. Bye.